Welcome back. Coming up next, despite the assurances by the Electoral Commission that the voters register is credible, the minority wants a forensic audit into it. And this was um, following up on yesterday when the Electoral Commission did admit that indeed there were some errors at, as a result of the just ended voter exhibition exercise. Here's Dr. Bosman Asari at that press conference yesterday. Take a look. The Commission is currently investigating. While the Commission does not have any evidence to believe that this occurrence is widespread, we have instituted investigations to ascertain if similar incidents occurred elsewhere beyond the reported case in the Tamale South and Sagnerego constituencies. Any such transfers will be reversed. Following this incident, the Commission has introduced a liveliness check in the verification process which is a feature designed to ensure that the biometric data being captured is from a live, present human being and not from a, a, a spoofed source, such as photograph, which is what was done in this case. The liveliness check has since been built into the system to prevent any such future occurrence. Also, is that the issue there? In that admission is what has led to the minority in Parliament led by Dr. Kessel to forcing, asking for a forensic audit of that register going into the election. Take a look. The Electoral Commission has admitted that the voter register is riddled with irregularities and flaws. I dare say, Mr. Speaker, the scale of these irregularities is such that someone may have tempered with the voter register database. Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry to say that we cannot vouch for the integrity of the voter register as it stands at the moment. The details of these irregularities are so fatal and cannot be accepted. We therefore demand a forensic audit into the voter register database. So that's the demand by the minority led by Dr. Kesla to force it. In fact, his constituency also witnessed you know, some anomalies there. The EC admitted to that effect as well. And Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, in fact, talk with Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, had a few things to say about the Electoral Commission and why there's some concern about what has to be done right going into the election. Take a look. I have been part of coup d'etats in this country, and I know what I'm talking about. I have spent almost five years of my life in, in prison. What I need is, I am saying that at the moment, the greatest threat to our democracy is the Electoral Commission. That is the greatest threat to our democracy. There's more news on 3news.com. Make some time and visit 3news.com. Thank you for staying with us here on Ghana tonight. Join us again, same time tomorrow, for another conversation. My name is Alfred Kansi. Have a good night.